Hi, I'm Tom Cherry Holmes with Linux MCE. What I would like to show you right now is something that is basically a quick prototype of something that I would like at least to solicit for further development with help from other people. Namely, the creation of what I call workstation agents for computers that are not media directors in the Linux MCE sense or traditional media endpoints. That is to say, computers running traditional operating systems such as Windows, Macintosh computers, or Linux based computers running GNOME or KDE, for example. Here, I've gone ahead with a prototype to create a quick demonstration of what could possibly be a Linux based desktop agent using uh, Mego, Mego Netbook specifically, and its GNOME based desktop. Now, the first combination of this, just to show you, one of the pieces that will be available as part of the workstation agent is, of course, an orbiter, so you can control the various aspects of the house. Now, it is worth noting that the final version of what I would consider to be a workstation agent would be using the Windows-based orbiter. I won't be going into a number of reasons why, but for this particular type of application, it would work best. Because of this, I have specified the Windows Orbiter as part of the device template. The Linux-based Orbiter uses a different uh, color mapping. So what you're going to see here, the colors are going to be a little skewed. Just to warn you ahead, ahead in advance. This will be fixed once a Windows Orbiter is, is brought over and Wine is brought over as the execution environment. But as you can see, a typical orbiter. Now one thing that you will notice here too is that we have an entertainment area here that we've added called Bedroom Master Workstation. Now if we look at it we'll see that it shows up just like any other room inside the house. We have here our Bedroom Master and our Bedroom Master Workstation. Like room names, entertainment area names like this are completely arbitrary and may change before the final version of the software. So we go back into here and I've gone ahead and made a test scenario here to show videos. And as we can see we have a video list and if we go through it and select a video, put play, we'll see that the video is started up using the uh, VideoLand client player which will be bundled with the workstation agent. For the record we are using VLC's remote control interface in order to talk to VideoLand client. Now because this is using VLC we can of course control it using the orbiter here Or, and I'll go ahead and restart this to prove the point, we can control it using any other orbiter inside the house, as you'll see in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and bring the lights up so you can see this other orbiter that I have in my hand. Just a standard Nokia N810. I'm going to go ahead and push the pause button on it. And as you can see, the pause has affected the workstation. Hitting unpause again starts it back up. And of course, I can go forward, I can go back, etc., etc. Now if I stop, of course, it'll go back and close the window. 
Now, due to the unique nature of Netbook, it didn't go back to the Orbiter window. That is not a fault of the Orbiter. But moving on. Now, I brought back to the Nautilus screen here to prove a point. The integration doesn't have to be just in one way, meaning you don't have to start the video inside Orbiter itself. You can also start a piece of media somewhere else. In this case, I've got the Ricky Gervais show, and I want to be able to start it in the same way. Now, darn it, excuse me here, it has accidentally opened up my Banshee Media Player here as the default. I'll close that. Now if I right click on this, you'll see that we have two new options here. One of them for play here, and one of them for play on TV. Now if I click play here, since it's being piped through the system, it'll take and play it on this application here. Now, I apologize, there's a slight bug here, and for some reason it is not, uh, uh, it is not reading the new desktop file, but no big deal. Uh, as you can see here, though, it has altered the orbiter in response to what I've clicked over here. And if I click something else, you'll see. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Try it again. Play here. you'll see that it's added the playlist entry here as well. So you start to see some of the integration possibilities here. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And do the same thing from Play on TV with Ricky Gervais. see for the past few years Ricky Gervais Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations of course this controlled in the wonderful. usual manner testing that same right? way same <laughs> orbiters same control surfaces all unified together hello and welcome to the Ricky Gervais show with me Ricky Gervais Stephen and because and the little round this media room, stream is part is of the Carl system, Pilkington. that mm -hmm. means that once Follow Me has been properly implemented inside the uh, media player here, the number of times I find a with the addition of proper time code, in then it's Follow true. Me will work, transferring I, I that, media um, will work properly, I just, I think et cetera, he's been et cetera, et cetera. A bad now, hand I'm going to end this demonstration <laughs> by <laughs> running the script. Yeah that I was going to use for play False here, gun. just to prove the point. Well, your brain's in two bits, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I wonder if one half is really good. I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. <laughs> yeah. And we go back to the laptop. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the console here. Close this out. I'm going to start a, uh, start a particular script called Play on TV, Play on Workstation. And I give it the path of a file that I want to play. And for the record, all this is is a call to message send, a call to the media plugin providing the appropriate parameters. That's it. Literally. So.
as you can see, some of the interesting possibilities that can happen when you use the existing architecture that's in place. Now again, it's worth noting that there's still so much work left to be done. I don't know how many hours of work left to be done. Tens, tens, maybe hundreds. To get something that is completely polishable and worth using here. But I hope just in this prototypical form, I give you guys something to, ins to inspire to and something to work towards and to show you what is possible within the confines of this amazing system. Thank you.